Hey guys, welcome back to Blaze Gaming. Today I am going to be reviewing Star Trek Lower Deck Season 2, Episode 7. So this one is called Where Pleasant Fountains Lie. Um, so we actually get to see some new characters in this episode, more like character, but um, that new character was Queen Palana of uh, Hesperia. Which happens to actually be, bleh, which happens to actually be, Phillips's home planet. So um, that was cool. We got to find out some stuff about Billup. I'll go over that later. Uh, moving on to so bleh, to our main characters of this episode, which would be Phillips, Rutherford, Tendi, Mariner, and Boimler. So what happened in this episode was that Mariner and Boimler get stranded on a planet when transporting an evil computer, Agamus, and, and um, yeah, another, we actually had two par parts to this, and the other one was where Rutherford perishes on a mi mission to fix the Monavine, or the uh, Hesperian ship, or the Qu Queen Polana's ship. Mariner got stranded on a planet with Boimler, and... She actually interfered with Point Boimler's plan to get them off the ship. Or, I mean, off that little stranded bleh, planet thing. Um, so, give... Boimler's plot in this episode was to give Ag Agamus access to what he thought would be, like, the computer's mainframe. When it was actually just the dimmer switch. And... Boimler was using his, like, battery thing to send out a distress signal. So, Attendee's part of the plot was to find out that Rutherford is not dead. Um, because it was rumored, or not rumored, actually, witnessed that there was an explosion on the Monavine that supposedly was supposed to kill, in quotation marks, Queen Polana and Rutherford. Except... It was a whole ploy to try to get Billups to become king of Hesperia. Um, so, like I said, Rutherford was literally to help, un 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 unintentionally help Billups become king of Hesperia, or almost. And then also to make sure that Billups did not become king of Hesperia. Um, and he was just someone tra getting tricked into becoming king. And look, Phillips just wants a soup. The man just wants a soup, and he's trying to, he's not trying to become king. He's just trying to be a chief engineer and eat his soup that, I don't know, might be cold, might be hot, I don't know. And it looks, I can't tell what it is. It, it doesn't have any noodles in it. That's a crappy meal. Anyways. No offense, but, <laughs> um, sorry about that. I just had to point that out real quickly. Um, Boimler proves that he has the guts to be able to handle bigger missions that have bigger risks. Um, we also get to find out that Billups is a prince, and Billups is not, in fact, from Earth. He is from Hesperia. I think we all kind of figured that he was from Earth. Just because he's... look, He looks human? I don't know. He might be still be human? I don't know. But, like, we... I, I don't know. We just all assume that humans are from Earth. But... Uh, we don't know about Hesperia. It could, it could or could not be, like, a branch off of Earth or something, you know? Um... So we actually did get to have some Easter eggs in this episode. Uh, not many. We only got to have one, but we did have one, and it was seven of nine. And yeah, <laughs> I mean that 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 she speaks for herself. She's a Borg lady that turned back human, and like the the first one, or maybe not. No, not the first one. Though. Like the, I don't think she was the first one. I think she was. She's like. Yeah, she's just one of the few. Or the only one. I don't know. Um, so, I really like that we got to see 
Billups' story, because like I said, we all kind of assumed he was human, um, or we assumed he was from Earth. He could still be human, but we just assumed he was from Earth, so we got to see that he actually was not from Earth, so that was cool that we got to get our assumptions denied and see more about Billups, because um, he's been a character that we've seen a lot, except we just don't know a lot about, so that was pretty cool. Um, and like I always say, I love the humor. The humor is always very funny. And, um, yeah. So that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and all that great stuff. And tune in next Friday for episode 8's review. Bye. <laughs>